Okay, here we are. I'm going to try and make that video about applying carbon fiber decals. First of all, these are Studio 27 carbon fiber decals. Um, I like Studio 27 because they make a lot of different decal kits for a lot of different popular models. They're very detailed. They look nice. What I don't like about them is they're as thick as plywood, as one Facebook user re referred to them. <clears throat> so, what I do when I do these is... I have the gloss black painted on here. I like to trim them out as close to the decal as possible so I don't get that, that silvering edge. I use a very sharp, fresh X-Acto uh, blade for that. Alright, so now that it's trimmed, I'll dunk it in the water, my warm water, for about 45 to 50 seconds. I count that off in my head. fish it out of there. Come on. I'll let it sit on the paper top for a couple seconds and then I will use my go-to decal solution which is Solvacet. Solvacet's a very strong de decal solution and these decals are pretty resistant to it. So I'll usually swap some on there before I put the decal on. <clears throat> Take the decal and slide it off onto there. Trying not to touch the back side. Kind of use my uh, tweezers here to just kind of position it. That's centered and then I'll try and either tape it down with a little folded paper towel like this nice and flat push some of the air and solvent or solve a set out from underneath it <clears throat> make sure it's still in position which it is And then I will usually do this, put a little more solve set on top, around the edges, and let it set for a few minutes. 
Okay, about five minutes have passed, and we'll let the decal try and soften up a little bit with the Salva set. Now we have to kind of work the decal into place, and these are my go-to tools for burnishing anything, bare metal foil, working decals into place. I like these airbrush cleaners. They're, they're very soft, and you can get in corners with them. Q-tip, of course. Um, you got to clean the lint off from the Q-tip, though. If it leaves lint, it will uh, ruin your model. But you can usually pick it off of there with the tweezers. See, it pushes all the bubbles out pretty nicely except uh, the corners. Got some of these set trapped under there out. Come back with this one. Push it in place. And then this does have an edge it needs to fold over here. I'm just going to make it want to pick up here. But works even better than the Salva set for softening these decals that I've found as a heat gun. These are some of the most rigid decals I've ever seen. But the heat gun will get them to bend up. <clears throat> I'm probably going to put a little more solid set on there and probably let it sit another five minutes. I don't know if you can see the back side there, but there's the edge of the decal. It's not completely wrapping around, so we need that to soften up a little more. So a few more minutes have passed with <clears throat> the decal solution. I'm going to kind of burnish it down some more. Give it some more heat. <clears throat> a little bit. You can also use your fingers to smooth it out a little bit. much it and after this when I put the other side on then it'll be ready for clear coat so that's kind of how I do studio 27 decals if uh, anybody has any other tips advice please free fit feel free to add but th that's how I do it <laughs> 